I am writing this as I'm sitting on a plane on my way to China. Weeks of planning, moments of pure excitement turned into repetitive anxious feelings are over for now. This time last year I wouldn't have thought I would be traveling alone to one of the biggest cities in the world for a job that my 12 year old self would have given away all her dolls to charity for. And I adored my dolls. Hard work and courage pays off. The minute that I kiss my mom goodbye, I realize that I'm on my own now. I can either play safely as I would always do, or I can try to take as much from this opportunity as I can. I have to let go of the things that were holding me back up until this point. Fear of people, or what assumptions they might have about me. Where I'm going, I'm gonna be just another one of the 13 million people. I'm gonna be a nothing in a city of everything. I know I'm gonna come back home a completely changed person. And I want to remind you what a short period of time we get to be on this earth, so there's no time for doubts and fears. Bring your ideas to life, stand tall and dream big. Now let's go to the beginning. Hey there, and um, today's the day I am leaving to China right now. And you may ask me why do I look so great, it's because I haven't brushed my hair today because my hairbrush is in the luggage and I cannot open the suitcase because it's gonna explode but I am waiting for my mother to take me to the airport and then the adventure is going to begin and I'm taking you with me to So I just arrived in Paris airport. I'm gonna be waiting here for five hours until my flight to Guangzhou, China. And I mean, this is a huge airport, so it's a lot of things to do. So I think I won't be bored, but I'm just so exhausted. I, I'm really thirsty, I'm very hungry. I just talked to my mother and then I talked to my friend and I told my friend that I'm in Paris and she was like, oh, you're in Paris, but I'm not gonna be here. I'm just in the airport. And my mother, she said, you're going to China. That's a lot further than Paris. Well, for me, China is a lot further than Paris because I live in Europe. Uh, she said like, you're gonna fly to Paris sometime later. You know, it's just like a two hour flight. I've been to France two years before, but I've been to Nice, you know, in the south of France. Been there and that was very nice, but I just really want to visit Paris. But I'm definitely going to do that very, very soon. I'm going to probably do a little little tour of the airport because it's very empty. I don't know, it's maybe just this terminal, but it's very empty. Yeah, and I just Googled that. It's like the second biggest airport in Europe. So that's pretty cool. I have a little tip for you. Uh, never drink soap. Drink water. <laughs> There's a lot of stores over there, but I feel a little bit intimidated to enter them, but I might when the night gets a little later. Another Good morning, this is the first morning in China for me and it's so cool. I arrived yesterday and my agent had to pick me up from the airport late at evening so I didn't really film anything that day because it was dark and also I was very confused in the airport. Like I didn't know where to go because like everything is Chinese in Chinese and I, I honestly I didn't know where to go, I didn't know what directions to take and also my internet was not working so that made me very very frustrated so i didn't even bother to film anything but today i'm gonna try to film as much as i can and also i'm gonna have a test shoot today which is gonna be interesting since it's weekend it's saturday today 
Uh, I don't think the agency is going to be working, but I'm having a photo shoot with another gal. And I'm going to the test shoot in around 20 minutes. Here's a little sneak peek into our apartment. It's pretty big, I expected it to be a lot smaller. So this is Masha, she's very nice, we're living together and we are going to do test shoot together because we're both like kind of newbies in this agency so that's going to be fun but I have no idea how we're going to find our taxi because our photographer should probably get us a taxi but I don't know what to do but it's very beautiful. They celebrated New Year, like last last week or something. just arrived at the shooting location and it's literally in the center of Guangzhou. Ding! Wow, this is the first time being here and I want to see more. So we wrapped up the shoot and we are... we went home and then we just took some stuff and we're going to the supermarket to buy some food because like at least I don't have anything in the apartment so I need to buy something but the shoot was great it was very long and the photographer was really nice he was like driving us to places like we went to we were shooting in a studio and then we we're shooting at a, a park which literally looked like a jungle so I've never seen a park such like realistically uh, jungle-ish yeah it was very fun and then we went to the city center where the Canton Tower is and so I saw the the city center for the first time and gosh like I have to tell you I was I was impressed I've never been to kind of like a big Asian city like I've never been to Asia anyway but I was amazed by the the size of everything like all the buildings were huge and uh, also, there are a lot of lights everywhere. I'm gonna try to go there tomorrow because I didn't have that, that much time here because obviously we were, sh we were shooting, so let's kind of work. Yes, yeah, so we're going to the, uh, to the supermarket now and this is gonna be my first time going to a Chinese supermarket. Off we go. Yeah, I think we should just find something. Um, a big store. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one of those in real life. 